Well, I thought I'd quickly just actually do this torment, this uh, on live stream, uh, this one minute anger, which I'm down 20 seconds at the moment. Uh, but it is a Vienna game, kind of. Might see free. Oh, giving up my. Uh, okay. Can I? Uh, can I catch up on the clock? That's the key thing. Play knight f5. G4. Try and catch up on the old clock. Uh, bishop g2 and bishop f4. Be a a4. Let me uh, get my king somewhere safe. Um, actually, the king's safe there. Actually, I can take this bishop, free bishop. Uh, if there's a check, go back. Let me take the knight. Uh, let me take on g3 for queen g3, I think. Uh, we protect e2. Or just win h6. Uh, okay. Just building up. Okay. Knight e7. And rook f7. Then we knight c6. Getting a bit of time on the clock there. More time on the clock. More time on the clock. Okay. Uh, uh, I, was playing, I think I think Gambit. I'm not too far behind. Please, I was that a minute late. Oh, what's this? Oh, the C5. I've just returned the confluent. Before losing the bishop to C5, it's just. Do that and then maybe c6 without getting mated on h7, hopefully. Um, I'll take him, I'll take on d5. Let's push b4. Oh, b7 is a bit weak. About knight e5. I'll take that guy. And then maybe bishop f5, blockade. F5 or, or, or here, okay, even better, even better. Uh, so I don't think it's going too well for white hair. Um, losing quite a few bits. Um, let's pull that and play knight d4 next. But I'm a few seconds behind on the clock. Let's try and get in the pre move here of knight e2, I think. Or almost the pre-move. I've got my hand to win that rook. And there's there's rookie two after. Uh, hopefully. And then there's knight knight e three. I'm moving this guy. Um. Without trying to like lose on time to like something. Knight f one. Maybe playing for g five is a good idea. Just play for a quick g five. Uh oh, the king's being carnivorous. Uh oh, I've just allowed queen in. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't great. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Um <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I got dark squares or a three. Do you want the mouse? Is a bit stuck. Unfortunately, so thirty seconds well behind on the clock here. But there's queen h five coming up. That could be dangerous. So knight h seven. Bishop g six. Materialistic. I know there's bishop g5, ef. Uh, also, there's just uh, right, bishop g6 and knight f6. Trying to win the rook. 
Although there's king, king f7, that was queen e5. Rook. That's knight. Play this check. Knight b5 might be um, useful in bishop f4, but only 16 seconds left. So I'll protect this uh, guy. Go back here. Try and get a bind on position. Get these pawns going, I think. H pawn attack. Okay, so there's rook f5. Still quite a few seconds. Well, there's rook g7 coming up now. I'm catching up on the clock here. Six seconds ahead. At the end of that, not pre moving. Okay, this might be a good gambit. Chaos gambit. It gets, uh, this looks like an unpleasant Vienna, which I'm used to as white. It's bishop g4 is particularly unpleasant. And it might be e3, it's just horrible, I think, for white. So knight d5 here. Some nasties are for knight d4. Bishop b4 is going to be horrible. Uh, if that moves the king, get this guy out of the way. Um, I think c2 is going to be weak. If I just target c2, um, that knight, that can't take as a queen d4. So there's queen a1 and queen c3, now queen d2. I, don't have, I could have taken on a1, that's mate as well. Oh dear, I've missed taking on a1. Uh, so I'm two points behind the leader. And the ice cream van attack is happening outside. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Ah. Okay, I'll take on e5 now. So black is going for me quite aggressively. Uh, but what about queen f7 if he's too aggressive with knight e4? So bishop e3 is going to be handy. Maybe knight g5 now. So e6. And then taking on g7. It's probably a good idea. Or well, bishop c5. Is he really going to sack the queen? Yeah. So there's queen c6 anyway. Oh, okay. That puts me temporarily in the lead here. 18 minutes left. Okay. If I play for f5 and e4, I think that'd be a good position. Okay, he's not going to allow this, is he? That's, so he can't castle. Well, I can castle with check. That surely is quite handy. Uh, maybe I'll get this knight g4. And knight b4 looks dangerous. So I missed my chance for knight b4, but there may be knight d3 here. Like here, knight d3. If it takes bishop d1. Okay, so I'm friendly rook d1 mate. Uh, so that was a dangerous threat. But this is pretty nifty for bishop f3, knight g4. So there's knight h2 threatened. Okay, knight f3 if knight f3. Oh, he's going for the h3 pawn or not? 
Oh, this is, oh, okay. Interesting. Spoon's dangerous. Oh, we'll pin this bishop. Pin and win. <clears throat> Oh, quick resign. That helps. Uh, something to leave at the moment. Uh, play like Budapest Gambit, I think, quick e5. Okay, h5 attack. Bishop g3 is looking dangerous. Oh. oh, there could be uh, trouble here. If I get a queen to h4, if I get a queen to h4, there's going to be trouble. I'm going to have to take here and take on f4, winning the exchange. Or even worse, this bishop. So this queen somewhere. d6, protecting the bishop anyway. So king g2, rook h2. Otherwise I'm just going to castle queen side. Well, maybe. Or queen f2, queen f2. Oh, it's got rook g3, I've just messed it up. Ah, okay. Okay, I've messed up that first wave of the attack. Uh-oh, there's rook f1. Missed it up again. I'm a bit short on time as well, so I'll make some way for my king. I was going to stop that. Whoops, this is getting worse. So, can I get in knight f4? Oh, I could have just taken that. Oh, he's going to try and win on time or something. I can win the queen. I think it's all over. That should have been over a bit earlier. <laughs> that was a terrible mess. Okay. So someone not too far behind on points. I'll go for a quick e6 here. Okay, so I can't get rid of that knight very easily. What about this bishop g6? Bishop g6, just to stop the cast thing. Can I threaten to take this knight? Or bishop h5, queen g4? Maybe that's best. There's rook f8 anyway in queen g4. There's rook f8, rook a8. Or queen g4 attacks the rook on h5, but then I get mated over there. So what about just nothing move, just leaving the knight hanging for bishop e3. I just want to get in bishop e3 and keep the rook attacked on h5. So if rook, rook h8, queen g4. If the knight moves, but queen h5, if knight h6. Okay, just giving up the knight there. Okay, I'll block this file. Protect F, protect G3, get a knight F4. Actually, rook E4 would be good. We're taking here, but rook E4 just to get rid of some counterplay. This attack going. So he's a bit short on time as well. Whoops. That wasn't very good. Not very good performance. That was quite scary actually. <laughs> okay, so 
of um, gambit again not accepted so I'll just uh, give me f4 and g5 just get a dark square attack going maybe g4 of h4 or a5 96 to c5 well this diagonal could be good so knight a6 to c5 or this one as well knight g4 I think it's I've got the advantage over there at the moment so knight f2 just to get the dark square bishop I think it's going to be good I'm coming in here bishop c3 is now a threat if I could play that here um, I'll just wait a second I'll play it here well those bishop e6 I just wanted that check to win the queen that was a bit of a cheapo but there was bishop e6 it was very naughty cheapo there was bishop e6 I knew that and I played it anyway okay quick e5 e6 again we're just letting to play d takes I think here knight g5 and um or oh, just queen queen over here okay this looks dangerous if i get the h file attack here i get a pawn g6 it's going to take okay now i can use the h file but default probably uh maybe not optimistic here Okay, I can control the h-file for a moment. So queen h3 or queen h2. Queen h2, bishop e2 to h5. Oh, the check would win the rook almost here. But bishop f8. But now I'm threatening bishop h5. Winning the queen. That's a bit cruel. Seems to win the queen. Did double the cube, didn't they? Just tell the guys live stream. Oh, a staller. <laughs> a staller. <laughs> he's working out where to win his queen or is he just stalling? It's only bullet chess. The stall's not really that big deal. Okay. So slightly in the lead. <laughs> oh, cool, then Bennett. Okay, I don't want to relax too much, but uh, I think the elephant game is a killer weapon. As no one's expecting the elephant gambit. Like the Spanish Inquisition, no one expects it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I think knight g4 just looks very fun to play here with e3. Uh, dislocating uh, e3 move. Something like, um, is he going to take? Mind you, mind you, mind you. This is, it doesn't look too hot for me. I think this position, but d4 might be uh, vulnerable. I hope with bishop f6. So I'm going to get to uh, disrupt that knight and queen. That's not going to happen, is it? Okay, okay. What about the pressure on these two bishops? What about bishop d4 coming up here? And then queen e7 or queen e8. I could just take that next. There's knight c2. I could keep the pin pressure with bishop c5. And then queen e7 after, just to keep the pin. Mind you, there's bishop g4. I think I've got to do it immediately. There's bishop g4. Okay, so I've just got to take. I just was lost on time. Okay. <clears throat> So someone on 83 plays d4, weakening the light squares. Okay. Queenside attack. I suppose justifies it. There might be knight e4, and there's knight e4 here. So I don't think knight e4 is on, but I'll move the king anyway. Uh oh. I'm getting cr crushed on the queen side. What is this? Uh, so something like knight g5 and get my queen over. Maybe just sack a piece here to get bishop c1 in. 
Oh, f6. Okay, now bishop c1. Sack another piece just for the hell of it, just to get the queen into the attack. Um, so queen g3 and g6, end of game. If I can get in g6, that will be end of game. It's a lot of time. Surely, because f7 will be will be a crushing move. If I get in f7, there's a threat of queen g8. There's a threat of queen h7 anyway here. Queen c6. Okay, taking over here. Skewering. A bit of a massacre, really. I don't know. Pin and win. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll decline the draw on this occasion. <laughs> <laughs> So one six one. I think this is one of my big slaughters actually so far. This is good, but that lead can't be taken for granted. That guy's catching up, so sort of try and get over two hundred and two twenty. Uh, okay, sort of Budapest game. I'll try and get the pawn back gradually with knight g six. Probably pin now. Can I get the pawn back? Knight g six, queen e seven. I'll chase this bishop away first. Maybe even chase the rook. Okay, it's not happening. I've just got a bad position. I've just lost g4. This is this is a way of losing horribly. So there's queen check. Just worse. Just worse. Ouch. Good move as well. Pawn structure is crushed. Oh, I can win c2. Consolation prize. Lose c6. Excellent. Could resign this. It's almost like resignable. Um, this knight's not the best. Can I win g2? Or the rook? That's that's handy. <laughs> okay, we're back in business. I think here. Okay, temporary pawn sack. Get control of d5. Then rook c3 will be good. And rook g3. Might have 4 be good. Winning e5. Winning a2. Playing for rook e2. Or knight d4. Knight b3. Get rid of the last pawn. Okay, that took a long time. So the gap's still 50 at the moment, but that took a long time. And was totally lost as well, of course. So I'll try and get a quick one or two wins here. So quick e5 and queen e4. Try and make on h7 quickly. Oh, there's queen e8. That's going to be a pain. Queen e8. What about f5? Just keep a form pawn there. Okay, e5 is under fire. Um, e4 is under control. What about knight e4 though? To get bishop e4 to d5. Get bishop d5 in. Maybe knight h4 to protect g6. Maybe g4, knight f5. Knight f5. This queen side is just pathetic. I have to develop this queen side somehow. Actually, bishop f7 would have been would have been a good idea there. Bishop f7. At least I've connected rooks. That's the good news about this. But I think I'm going to have to... Oh, bishop d4. Oh, I'll sack the exchange. So these pawns, I presume really strong but there's rook c8 to consider back row mating so I need that so I'm still I've extended the lead of that win with two minutes to go 
I think elephant jam is pretty pretty dynamic for this time control. Playing f5, he plays knight d4, because then knight d4 I can attack later with with bishop c5. And I think it's uncomfortable for h2 later at bullet. <clears throat> uh, so I think this is just very bad for bullet because because of h2 uh, being a cheapo target. Um, okay, I can control d5. Uh, okay, control d4. I can avoid major disaster uh, by attacking the knight now. Oh, two pieces for the. That's no good. That's no good. F2 is on. That's not good. Not very good at all. Smother the mate, mate, mate coming up. Two, two, one. Fifty-five seconds to go. Can I just get one more win in? Trying to secure it. Okay. Let the F fault was knight e6, it's knight g7, it's knight d5. Oh, he just left his queen and pre. This could be another quick win. That's what I need. 2 4 1, 20 seconds left. One more win to get over 250. Only 19 seconds left. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Elephant gamut in 10 seconds. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen. H file attack. Is that going to be? Is that going to be lethal here? Nope. End of tournament. It's completed. Whew. Twelve five zero cubits. Uh, first out of sixty three. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to stop the live stream now. Back to the King's Crusher Cafe.